In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Today's guest on Guess That Price is... Farfa. Farfa is the largest Yu-Gi-Oh streamer on Twitch and is largely responsible for starting the Yu-Gi-Oh streaming genre in general. He is known for his hilarious memes and dedicated community. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price Episode 7. We have the one and only Farfa, how are you doing today? I'm really good. I'm also upset that it took seven episodes to get me on here as the de facto worst contestant that you'll have without a doubt. <laughs> well, you're one of the hardest people to get because we have like different schedules and I like don't wake up and like you are going to be asleep by the time I actually wake up. So it's very difficult for us to actually record, but we made it happen. You're going to be a surprise guest. I have a good feeling you're going to do great. Where do you awesome. live again? Is it Area 52? Area 52, yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, but basically when it comes to trying to get us to get do something together all right i have already explained the rules to you you don't seem to really understand them but that's okay we're gonna figure it out so we we got this all right we're gonna go right into it we're gonna go to question one bottomless trap hole super rare from champion pack for farfa what do you think the price of this card is and what do you know about bottomless trap hole and the champion pack for printing so i know that champion pack has a lot of old good staples uh, I think there's like champion pack like lone fire maybe there's like ch champion pack book of moon and I know that when I started playing like a few years ago, they were like 60-ish, uh, but they definitely inflated when there was like this big goat boom at some point, maybe like three years ago or something. Inflated to what is the question? Yeah, where did they land on? Uh, champion pack bottomless trap hole. I'm gonna go with, let's go for a flat hano. I think. $100. You want to lock it in at $100. You feel pretty confident about that? Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably kind of the range for a bottomless. It might be a little less, I want to say, but I know it definitely went up since it was floating around. Okay. All right. So it's up from 50 bucks. We are starting it off. Question number one. Farfa says $100 on the bottomless trap hole from Champion Pack 4. Farfa? This is not a good start. <laughs> that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Champion Pack 4 bottomless is $392. Went up that much? Jeez. Wow. All right, that's okay. Remember I told you, your worst one is thrown out. We didn't want to use it this early, but we have used it this early. That's okay. That's okay. We're, we're moving on to the next one. This is an expensive card. It's a very expensive card. Anything Champion Pack that can be used in like Goat or Edison and stuff like that, they're just nuts. They're they're way too expensive. Also, bottomless, did it? I guess it got like a, maybe an ultra rare later or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go to question two. Let's wipe that one away. No big deal. We got nine to go. You still got three lifelines. Let's do this. All right. Question number two, Farfa. We have a card that you might be able to see if you turn around. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Secret Rare First Edition from Extreme Victory. Ooh. If so uh, Extreme Victory is the original printing, right? This is the original Secret Rare, yeah. So Tour Guide is... I mean, she has so many printings. If you ask me how much the ulti was. Okay, what would you say for the ulti? I think the ultis are like 250-ish now. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're right about that. I should have asked you about the ulti. <laughs> um, tour guide secret rare, I think is probably like a, is going to be a little bit less than that. You think it's like tier one, tier two, tier three. What do you think in terms of the, the ranges? Oh, it's tier two, hundred percent. Okay. I think it's a tier two. All right. So you think it's a hundred to 250 or 101 to 250. Okay. So do I have to give you an exact number now? Oh, whatever you want, whenever you want. Unless you, unless you want to just keep talking it out. Maybe I can help you out a little bit. Um, Wait, but how can you help me out? I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, I just might push you the right way. How push can you help you me out without way. just telling me the answer? Oh, I might push you the right direction. You know, you know, what do you know about it? You know, it's uh, it's got some reprints, but it's the original secret. But do you want like the ulti or the secret more? You know, usually the ulti probably. Yeah, no, for sure. I think the ulti is always going to be more expensive. Those Astro Pack ones are like super, super hard to get. And there's only one printing of it. But um, if we go with a tour guide, let's go for a, a nice round 200. I think $200. We have tour guide from the underworld secret rare first edition. Okay, edition. since I can be a little bit more, so let's go for like 180. Okay, okay, you're dropping it down to 180. All right, uh, the final price has been edited. 185. Price, 185. All right, okay, from 200 to 180 to 185. Okay, so we're locking it in at 185. You want to get super specific here? You want to add any sense while you're at it? No. <laughs> okay, no sense. All right, okay. No sense. Tour guide from the underworld. All right, Farfa. 
Tour guide from the Underworld Secret Rare is $64. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. What? First uh, yes. edition. Yeah, I was surprised too. It's actually really cheap. I, I looked and I was like, I thought they were 125 when I looked and then they were 64. I was like, Okay, that's cheap. That's extremely cheap. Yeah, honestly, I thought they were in contention with the ultis. Almost, yeah, I, but... I guess for this one, it seems like the people who want a tour guide have picked the ulti and no one is picking the secret because the ultis are like, as you said, they're like 250 or something. They might even be like 275, 300. They're crazy expensive. Don't forget the gold alt art as well, you know, just saying. Yeah, the gold alt art. That's a great, that's a great pick, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's okay. You got time to recover. We're only two questions in. Let's go to question number three. We have swords soul grandmaster i don't know how to say this card starlight rare first edition burst of destiny i picked this because of your top 16 list by the way so and you had this card so it was a starlight though. thank you i appreciate that um <laughs> Dude, I don't, I couldn't tell you how much Starlight Rares are these days. <laughs> also, hey, let's just throw that out there. I, you don't even use USD. So if you did, if you were using your currency, you'd be nailing these, right? Totally. Yeah, no, that's definitely what's throwing me off here. I should yeah, have done yeah. a little bit more uh, market, uh, or rather economic <laughs> research into the currency exchange right now. Yeah, it's kind of an unfair advantage for for me, like getting making you miss them. And as always. <laughs> so I know that Starlight Rares from board i mean i don't know if that really makes a difference to be fair the only starlight rare that i know definitively the price of was like dark the dark charmer was like 250 ish on yeah. like release and i really wanted yeah. to get one i was like nah <laughs> but now i know that they've gone up to like four 450 i should have asked you that card that's like exactly what they are <laughs> yeah um and this one is way less generic than dark so i feel like it's probably a little lower so i'm gonna go with let's go with 300. interesting you think so you okay think so, so i know that starlight valor that's like a generic staple card that thing's like 700 plus because i had to buy one for right valor is from 2020 keep that in mind yeah i'm gonna go let's go with like two 75. by the way don't forget you do have lifelines so if you ever feel eh, not too sure you can go with your three lifelines. Life I think lines. I'm going to use them on ones that I'm completely like... In the dark. Okay. All right. All right. Makes sense. Okay. Question number three. Sword Soul Grandmaster Guy. Starlight Rare. Farfa, you got top 16 with this card. But... It's only $139, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> you went in the right man. direction, though. It's... You started talking yourself in the right direction. You're like, ah, I don't think it's that much. Yeah. So, I mean, you had some good logic. You just didn't know. This, this card's actually really cheap. I guess Sword Soul, like, being not as popular right now. But, like, it's still Sagres... a popular deck, though. So, I thought, like, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, 139 to me feels pretty cheap for, like, the price of some of them. As you mentioned, like, the Dark is, like, $500, which I guess is more generic. But this one felt a little weird to me, too. But not a bad guess, I would say. We still got seven. Seven to go, seven to go. Three lifelines. You haven't used any of them yet. You're saving them. All right, let's see what you can do on question number four. We have Test Tiger Ultimate Rare First Edition from Gladiator's Assault. Not even the slightest clue. So we're going to have to go to the lifelines for this one. I don't even know <laughs> where to begin with this. I could... No idea. So what are my options for lifelines? Okay, so if you want to know the range that it's in, you can go with the tier, which will be, I'll tell you, tier one, two, or three. If you want me to tell you if you're lower or higher on a guess, so you basically get to guess, and then I tell you if you're lower or higher. So you can give like your closest guess, and then I could tell you if you're higher or lower. Then you could just completely swap this card out for a new question in the same tier. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to just ballpark in my head. Are we talking like three digits for this? Are we talking like hundreds for this? Probably not, right? I sincerely doubt that. Let's go for a flat hundred and then I'm going to ask you to higher or lower that for me. Okay, so you want to guess 100. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's go a little bit lower. Let's go with 75 and you can tell me higher or lower. Okay, first... Lifeline is being implemented right here. Test Tiger Ultimate Rare First Edition. You said 75, higher or lower. This card, Farfa, is higher than $75. Really? <laughs> The ultimate rare, it's from glass. It's pretty, pretty rare set. Definitely. Are you allowed to tell me if it's like a staple in Edison decks or like old school Glad decks? Because I don't know well, if this is a good card. I don't know if you I play this in those. In Edison, Glad Edison, I do know this is not a card that's played, or at least in the deck that I have. I have a Glad deck and it's not in there. God, I don't know. Let's go with 130. I'll go with 130. All right, question number three. The Test Tiger Ultimate Rare from Gladiator's Assault First Edition is... $299, no, $300, I didn't round it, $300. Why? It's so bad. 
Ah! <laughs> You're underestimating. This is from Gladiator's Assault, which is pretty rare. And then it's also first edition. So you got to keep in mind, there are all those crazy people out there that are just collecting this card. I mean, I so think that, it's kind of an iconic card as well for Glads, right. isn't it? Yeah, I think it was used at some point. I don't know when it when it was, but at some point I think it was used in Glads. But uh, that's your second tier three. So keep that in mind. We're only going to have three tier threes and potentially a fourth, but maybe not. So that's already two of those. So those are the high end ones. Those are the hardest ones usually. So not too bad. All right. Question number five. We have Farfa, the rare from Secrets of Eternity. Do you know the price of this card? So I know it's cheap, but I don't know how <laughs> cheap we're talking here. How cheap do you think you are? Yeah, so the funny thing is like the, the, the main deck Burning Abyss monsters are like very expensive for the fact that they're just like box rares like i had to like buy like a gold seer for euros i think it was that i played this silly deck again for some reason for like eight <laughs> bucks or something it was it was ridiculous like, messed up. let's just go with five dollars five bucks all right we're gonna go five he doesn't believe in himself he thinks he's cheap well let me tell you you believe too much. You're zero dollars. <laughs> it's 24 cents. 24 cents. I rounded down zero dollars. <laughs> what? So, hey, it's not even you're close. Still really close. Five bucks? God, yeah. God that's. What? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm sure now that we're halfway through, you're probably noticing I'm really bad at card <laughs> prices. I don't know anything about card prices. I mean, that's your best guess yet. With the credit, you actually made money back because you get 10 bucks because you were on the same uh, tier there. So not bad. You're making a comeback. What, that's what I was telling you. The comeback starts now. All right. Question number six. We're over halfway through. We have Foolish Burial Super Rare from Turbo Pack 2. So I know Turbo Pack, I think, is actually the best quote unquote rarity of Foolish Burial, but I don't know if, if there's a difference between Turbo Pack 1 and 2. I assume Foolish Burial was only in Booster. Right, so Turbo Pack is, they had Tournament Pack 1 through 8, the originals, then they went to Champion Pack, did 1 through 8, then they had Turbo Pack 1 through 8. This is just another, like, Tournament Pack. It's basically like OTS 2 instead of OTS 1. So yeah, it's two different sets. So this is the sets. only... Foolish Burial Turbo Pack that exists. Right, this is the highest rarity of Foolish Burial, and this is the only set it's in. Yeah, I think this one is kind of money. Like a like a good quality. Yeah, this is Near Mint, by the way. Yeah, this is Near Mint. Yeah, Near Mint Foolish Super from Turbo Pack 2. That's going to be like, that's going to be money. Hundreds, I'm pretty sure. Let's go right. with 333. <laughs> 333, I like it. Very specific. We're locking it in. Foolish Burial Super Rare from Turbo Pack 2. You nailed it. This is an expensive card. The price isn't 333, but it is 275. So you're pretty close. Not bad for a tier three guess because this is, I mean, these are really expensive because I think there is a secret rare, but that was like out of legendary collection or something. So this is like the one that people, you know, use if they're trying to bling out their deck. So nice guess, nice guess there, not bad. Yeah, so I was just thinking, especially with the fact that tier limits are like the best deck in the game. Uh, wait, do you yeah. play foolish in tier? I have no clue actually, Never mind. I, but I mean, yeah, I, it's I a know. turbo pack foolish are you It's one of the best kind of stuff? Printed. I don't know. I, don't I feel know. like I should, but. I should yeah, play it, it that is, too, but. <laughs> it is one of the best like general cards ever made in the game. It's very iconic, and yeah. this was always going to be tier three, right? So yeah, that was a that was a good guess. All right, not bad. You're making a nice comeback. Don't forget, four questions left. You still have two lifelines. Keep those in mind. All right, number seven, Dark Magician Girl Duelist League promo with purple lettering. I'm just gonna straight up <laughs> ask you for the tier on this one. Okay, needs a lifeline. Okay. I good decision. Good decision. This card, I think Duelist League was like given out at some point, like the mid. -two it was like 2010 or something like that there's a few of these like green blue purple stuff like that this tier i will tell you is tier two so it's between 101 and 250 dollars big range on this honestly um god i mean there's the thing is there's so many dark magician girl variants out there that some of them i know are just not gonna be that popular but i mean i guess this did come out a long time ago what sort of rarity is it is it, it, is it holographic at all or no i think it's just the lettering it's like a rare except for it's purple oh really that's not that popular but it's still a tier two card that's crazy i'm gonna go with 125 one two five all right dark magician girl yeah this is one of the weirdest cards like ever it's just like a regular rare but it has the colored like i i never personally like the colored rares i don't know how you feel about them like that they do them in the legendary duelist they always look so out of place yeah you're just like huh and like a very few cards it'll match the card but most of the time it just looks awkward and gross and i kind of feel like that about this one as well this card is 
$200. For some reason, it's 200. Dark Magician Girl, that's why. Uh, I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I know Dark Magician Girls are generally expensive, but I didn't think, you know, all of them, regardless of which, yeah. you know, I, you know, maybe the holographic ones were hundreds, but ah, right. 200 for this? That's just... it, it almost makes no sense. There can't, there just must not be a lot of them out there. That's, is that's there good. a few number of Dark Magician Girl artworks of this specific artwork, like the OG? Is that why? No, there's, there's too many of these. So I don't, I really, I don't get this one. It's weird. It's a really weird one. All right. Okay. Three questions left. You've got two lifelines. Question number eight. We have Harpy's Feather Duster Prismatic Secret Rare from World Championships 2004, the video game from uh, Game Boy Advanced. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is the one where the promos in the US for this game are not the Harpy Feather Duster, but it's like in Europe, I think. So, hey, maybe, did you have this game? <laughs> maybe. Uh, no, I didn't play any of the Game Boy games. I played them on a uh, console. Missed opportunity. If you had gotten, you might have known the price if you had just gotten the game 20 years ago. Who knows? So, Prismatic Secret, Harpy's Feather Duster Game Boy promo that was only out in Europe. So, and, and there's, there's still tier three guesses left, right? So far, you've done three tier three. So, and Unless the random 10th question is tier three, there won't be any more. So there may or may not be one more. This has to be a tier three card. It's it's Harpy's Feather Duster, and it's a prismatic secret from the Game Boy. Ugh. Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe like, what, what are the other rarities of Harpy's Feather Duster? There's like, is it LOB? No, LOB or MRD? The original, or... the, the big one is TP8 Super Rare. And then there's like secret rares out of Legendary Collection Joey, I think. Maybe Yugi, I can't remember. So there's, and then there's of course the one, the regular one from the US for us. We just had one at a different game, but it's the, it's the same rarity, it's just a different set. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not tier three, but maybe it, I feel like it's definitely up there. Let's go with a flat 200. $200 talked himself back into tier two. Farfa, that was a great decision. I like it. I like where you went with that one. This card is $180. This is one of your best guesses yet. I think that's my closest. <laughs> that, that, besides the Farfa, this is your second best guess. That was pretty good. You, you walked yourself back into it. So now you've had three tier twos now, I think. So three tier twos. So you know, three tier twos, three tier threes, and two tier one. So one of the next two is a tier one. Keep that in mind. Let's go on to the last two. I asked both of the, both of these at the same time because I want you to be able to use your lifelines, but also don't want you to be able to pigeonhole what the last one is. So I'm going to ask both of these at the same time. Keep in mind, one is tier one between zero and $100. So your first of the two questions, question nine is warrior of tradition rare from tournament pack two. And then question number 10, you can answer, you're going to answer these simultaneously is Blue Eyes Jet Dragon Starlight Rare from Battles of Chaos. What do you think about these cards? Oh, um, a Blue Eyes card that is a Starlight Rare, you would think would probably just be money by virtue of being Blue Eyes Bat Chest because Dark Magician Girl was also the same. This <laughs> Warrior of Tradition has to just be like worthless, right? Like that has to be the lower one. That's a tier one card. Keep in mind, you do have your, you could switch a question if you don't like one of these. So I swap out one of the questions, uh, one of the cards? Y yeah, if you don't like one, you could swap them out. If you want to just guess these, you can. You don't have to use the lifeline. But okay, and one of them is a tier one. Yeah, one's a tier, 100 is up to 100. Up to 100. Okay, so yeah. I think that's very obviously the Warrior of Tradition. Now, I don't know where Jet Dragon is. That's the problem. It could be like a cheaper Starlight, like Chi Chao maybe. At like Interesting. You think it could be like Chi Chao around that price? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Huh. Um, I just, I feel like this is just not that popular. <laughs> it can't be. Let's swap out the the Jet Dragon. Okay. All right. So would you have said, what would you have said? I would, I think for a Jet Dragon Starlight, Battle of Chaos, I think I'd say like two. 30. Okay. All right. We'll come back to that. All right. Let me grab your new question that will replace this. The replacement question is Stardust Dragon Collector Rare from Toon Chaos. That's the first edition print. Mm, I feel like I have a vague idea because those things are not that much. So question, did you swap this out? Is this the same tier as Jet Dragon or? Yeah, same it? tier as Jet Dragon, yes. That's surprising because I thought the the collector's rares would be a little bit lower, but oh God, okay. All right, let's just do this. Uh, I'm gonna go with like 15 on the Warrior of Tradition. That just does not seem like it's expensive. All right, fi $15. And the CR Stardust Dragon is gonna be, let's go with, 350. 350. Okay, so you thought. Wait, 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 wait. You thought your blue eyes jet dragon was 230, which is tier two. 
Wait, so they're the same tier? Same tier, yeah, same tier. Oh, this game's too hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Farva. So, so Stardust Dragon is definitely a tier two card. I'm not telling you if it's a tier two, but you thought the Jet Dragon was tier two. So if it is a tier two, like you thought, then this is tier two. No, this is just a higher tier. I'm just, fuck it. I mean, Didn't you say that you thought Stardust was cheaper though when you when it came up? No, no, no. I think it's definitely more. But no, I thought the Collector's Rares would be cheaper, but I guess not. Because why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. Um. Okay, fifteen bucks on the Warrior Tradition. I'm going with uh. I'm I'm going with with uh, three three twenty on Stardust. Us. That's it. I'm locking it in. Okay. All right. 320. These are the last two guesses. Before we get into those last two, I, I want to tell you what you uh, what you did on the Jet Dragon. You didn't actually guess this, but you said 120 as a, as a casual. It could be around 120. I was really hoping you'd lock that in because it's $138. <laughs> you would have nailed wow. it. Okay. Let's get to the real ones. Warrior of Tradition Rare from Tournament Pack 2. You were sure this was a cheap card. There was no reason for this card to be expensive, right? It shouldn't it shouldn't be any money, but it's $99. <laughs> $99 for a level six Earth Warrior generic. $99, feed. yes. It's from Tournament Pack 2, which is pretty rare. So that that's that's why. It's the second one ever. And it's the first printing, and I think the only printing of that card. And you know how those weird fusions can get. Alright, the Stardust, which you. <laughs> Which you you declared you don't know, <laughs> okay? The Stardust Dragon from Toon Chaos is one hundred and forty dollars. Ooh, that, so, what did I say again? Three twenty? Yeah, yeah. You said three twenty. So you should have stuck with the Jet Dragon and done one twenty. And then I was trying to I was trying to say it's the same tier. You should bump it down a little bit. Yeah. So, so like just for context, the reason I don't know anything about card prices is that I'm not a big collector person, and if I want yeah. a card, I just go and buy it and yeah. normally it's like a meta relevant card which people right. don't really so track not... the prices for those except at the time and it's not 300 dollars, you know usually yeah. and i'm not the kind of person to chase like oh uh here's a <laughs> foolish burial i need for my new graveyard deck let's go buy a turbo pack one for some reason so that's why i just i just don't really know card prices hey, that's the that's the point that's the fun of it you gotta have some people on here that don't follow if you ask me in it. gems I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> how many master duel gems does it cost to get started 762 all right. Okay. Not bad. All right. Now I got to total up your winnings real quick uh, and see what you did. As long, honestly, uh, as long as I'm not dead last, I'll be happy. Who is last? I think Simo is last. So did you beat Simo is the question. We'll see. A few moments later. Okay. Are you ready to reveal how you did? Yes. Let us uh, reveal if I am the absolute dead last because I first, wouldn't be surprised. Okay. First of all, Thanks a lot for hopping on here. I appreciate it. It doesn't matter how you did. You know, it's all for fun. You know, this is a preface. How are you, how are you feeling now? I mean, I think by stating that, you are basically announcing I came last. Okay, okay. You, okay. Uh, let's, just, let's just find out, okay? Um, last place, I believe, was around 19% off. Maybe around to 20%, something like that. You, Farfa. You have managed to shatter the record. <laughs> you were, before your bonuses of tiers, like tier, you got like $10 back from being in the right tier. Before that, you were 43% off. Wait, that's good. That's a big, wait, is, is the, wait, no, the number should be small, right? Yeah, yes. You want it to be Fuck. very small, but you got your bonus. So you got 70 bucks. You got seven of your tiers, correct? So you were only 39% off. Oh, wow. Okay. Not bad. You're under 40. Hey, you still won a prize. If you had been outside of 50%, then you would have won nothing, which would have been embarrassing. But guess what? You won a prize, so it's all good. And hey, wait, we don't all have to know card prices. That's why I had you on here. We need some people that don't know card prices for the entertainment. So 39%, hey, so, hey, <laughs> you would rather be way at the end than in the middle. I mean, we're gonna forget all those people. We remember Gage and now we remember Farfa. Those are the people we remember, the top and the bottom. They're the ones who make history. The people who are the absolute best at their uh, craft and those who are the absolute worst and hey you are the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh streamer and you are the worst at card prices so hey look best and worst it works like that <laughs> not not even wrong not even wrong not even wrong farfa once again thank you for being on i really appreciate it it was a lot of fun for me uh you got anything else you want to say thank you so much for watching everyone if you don't know who i am or haven't already 
Uh, subscribe for any reason. Uh, I'm a Twitch streamer, twitch.tv slash Farfa, where I uh, definitely don't guess card prices <laughs> daily, but yeah, that's where you can check me out. He'll be grinding his card prices after this. People are going to be hammering him with new questions so he can come back for round two. All right, Farfa, make sure you guys go check him out on Twitch and of course his YouTube as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.